I'm Gail and welcome back to LowCarbRecipeIdeas.com. Today we're going to make another little dessert. I guess I'm on a little uh, rampage of doing some desserts, cause, sweets, because I haven't done any for a while. And I really have been having urges for them. Um, I do have a lot on my site, but let's just add some more just to give you guys some, some variety. So today we're going to make a low-carb lemon chia muffin. They're delicious and I'm going to show you how to make them. So let's get started. To start off, I'm using a smaller bowl. I'm going to put the wet, ing wet ingredients in. So I have a third of a cup of fresh lemon juice that I squeezed from the lemons. And um, I did take the, uh, the rinds off because we're going to use them also. And it ended up being one and a half lemons for me to get that third of a cup just in case you were kind of curious about that. Now we're going to add in a tablespoon of coconut oil. Now I, I uh, melted it in the microwave to make it easier and quicker. Like I said, I don't really like using the microwave, but sometimes it just works so much better. And then we're going to add um, one teaspoon of almond extract. And we've got three eggs that I whisked. Use my spatula and clean out the bowl here. There we go. Now, I'm just going to sort of mix this all together. Then we're going to set it aside and we're going to put our dry ingredients in a different bowl. Now, let's add in the dry ingredients. So I have a cup and a quarter of almond flour. That's a cup and here's the quarter. And then two tablespoons of coconut flour. Now my coconut flour, I buy it at the bulk barn. You can buy most of your stuff at uh, bulk barn if you're in Canada. Not exactly sure what all they have in the States, but I'm sure they have bulk. Um, stores that you can buy all your stuff. Now we're going to add a tablespoon of chia seeds. They are very healthy for you. Um, let me see here. A teaspoon of baking soda. A teaspoon of baking powder. and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Now I use Himalayan salt. That's what I'm going to kick on right at the moment using that and it's healthier for you and that's why I'm trying to use that kind of stuff. And then I've got a half a cup of erythritol which is powdered. You don't really have to powder it when you're um, baking it. But I just, when I buy my stuff, I automatically powder it so that I can use it in any kind of recipe. Because powder, it doesn't dissolve as well if you're using something that you're really not baking or heating it that much. So I've got this well mixed, and now what we're going to do is add the wet ingredients. And actually, um... I've got my lemon rind in here and I think what I'll do is I'll just set this aside for a second and I'll just slide this over and just put my lemon rind in here. Now I used two lemons to get the rind off because I just wanted that extra little lemon in it. So I figured it's easier to mix it in here with the wet before I pour it into the dry. Okay, so now we're going to add the wet into the dry. My coconut oil started to harden. But that's okay. We'll make it all work. 
Okay, now we just mix this all together. And we are going to make some muffins. You can even make a loaf out of this if you want to. And what I, once you've got it all mixed, I just want you to let it sit for a little bit, for a few minutes, because with the coconut flour, it will absorb some of the moisture. So I just want to make sure I've got all my lumps out. And I'm just going to let this sit for a couple of minutes. And I'll get my muffin tins ready, and then we'll pour them in and get ready to bake our muffins. Okay, so we're going to take, I'm using silicone cups here, and I'm going to fill them three-quarter full. I don't know why I'm holding them. I guess I'm thinking I'm going to spill it all over the place, so we'll try to do it without. Yeah, that works. That's good. Oh, I spilt a little bit. I hope you guys really like this. So I'll fill these up, and then we will get them in the oven. I've got nine muffins. I could have put less in and, and got 10. Normally I do 10, but I've got them a little fuller than usual. So hopefully we all it all works out. Um, I have the oven on at 350, and we're going to put it in between 15 and 20 minutes. And I used the almond extract. I've used it with vanilla also. I love both of them, so it's up to you what you want to put in there. So I'm going to put these in the oven, and we'll be back soon. So I've just taken them out of the oven. It took 20 minutes. Um, I put the toothpick in, and they all came out clean. So here's our muffins finished. They didn't rise up like a regular muffin, but that's expected when we're doing low carbon the products we're using. So they're sunk a little bit, but they look really good. So let's give it a try. Well, here are my low carb lemon chia muffins. They look delicious. And you can substitute the chia seeds for poppy seeds, and they're just as good. So let's take a bite and let's see what happens. Mm. Very good. Really good. Very moist. Now, I can really taste the almond extract in it, which is delicious, but you can change it up. You could put lemon, more lemon extract in it if you'd like, or vanilla. The, I've done the vanilla and I've done the almond, and I like them both. So, you need to try this one. This one's really good. And the nice thing is, like, they didn't, they're, they're, can you see the angle? They've sunk a, a little bit, like, they didn't totally rise, but good muffins. And they came out of the uh, silicone cups just amazingly. You didn't have to work with it or anything, they just fell right out. So, I suggest you give this one a try. So, go to lowcarbrecipeideas.com, try this one, and try some of my other recipes. We'll see you soon. Take care. Bye now.